My name is Eddie Ashworth and I'm an associate professor within the School of Media Arts and Studies in the Scripps College of Communication at Ohio University. I'm a record producer. That's been my main life's work uh, for a couple of decades. Um, I'm a studio guy, um, never see the sunlight. <laughs> um, uh, and I love records, love record making, love everything about it. A uh, sound engineer uh, works in a number of, uh, of media areas, first of all. Um, you can be a sound engineer in a recording studio that does music. You can be a sound engineer that uh, does voiceover work at an ad agency. Sound engineers do production sound for video productions. Uh, they also do uh, post-production work um, after a, uh, a video production or, or film production. So there's a, uh, a lot of different disciplines that sound engineering can feed into. But the broad definition of it is, uh, it's someone who, who deals with the technical aspects of the audio, of whatever production they're working on. So I think uh, Ohio is a great incubator uh, for that. Um, you know, just in the 10 years I've lived here, uh, the state has really taken off, in my opinion, media-wise. Uh, Columbus is a, just a, a hotbed of musical activity and, and creativity and growth uh, just within the past five years. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for people with entrepreneurial instincts to either start things in their own town, whether it's a recording studio or a other music industry related uh, type of, of business. Um, certainly in the larger cities, particularly Columbus, um, there are uh, business startups all the time. Uh, there's a very active music scene and where there's an active music scene there are lots of opportunities for people who want to record music or be involved in popular music to find you know, niches for themselves, to find areas that they can fit into and, and uh, grow a career. Recorded music has never been more ubiquitous in human life than it is at this very moment. Um, there's more music out there, there's more, peop more people um, listening to music than at any other time in human history. Um, so I play a small role in creating that content, in, in creating that dialogue between artists and, and uh, a consumer of music. And, I would take every opportunity um, within your, your you know, pre-college career to avail yourself of whatever opportunities are out there to, to get your feet wet. Um, you know, hang out at a local recording studio or ad agency, see if you, you know, just let you be a fly on the wall. Whatever is going on at your school that might require audio work, um, you know, whether or not, whether it's doing a PA, running a PA or recording um, a, a, you know, a, an assembly you know, or recording the school choir, whatever it is, just do it, just, you know, just start doing it. I do have uh, students coming in who have some sort of media experience, um, some who have, uh, whose curriculum in high school teach some of the tools, such as Pro Tools, which is a preeminent digital audio workstation that a lot of people use. But I know that there are a lot of high school programs that, that at least touch on it or offer portions of courses devoted to it. It does help. It does help uh, the students I, who come in and, and have, have done that kind of thing already certainly have a little bit of a leg up. But one of the things I teach my students, or try to impart to them, is the importance of information, the importance of in an ongoing way, almost on a daily basis, um, keeping up with what's going on in the field you want to go into. I think that's one of the most powerful things that you can, you can really do for yourself is, you know, um, uh, do internet searches on music industry or record business or popular music in my field. Or if you're going into um, wanting to do audio production for a film, it's like post-production audio, do a Google search, get on the, a news feed from Google, which is very easy to do, where they send you news updates on a daily basis. Starting now to gather that information, to be informed, uh, is, is key because you never know when you're going to get that opportunity to, you know, you may be sitting on an airplane flying somewhere and the person sitting next to you is a uh, you know, post-production audio supervisor for a major production company somewhere. Boy, and if you have that opportunity and you can actually speak intelligently about that area of your own interests, that's better than a job interview. Yeah, I think you know, in looking at what you want to do for a career just in general, it, it, whatever it is, it needs to be something that you wake up in the morning and want to do. I just naturally enjoy the, the, the the process and the act of making records, and it isn't—it isn't like work. It, you know, it's more like a like this awesome, awesome hobby that I, I have, and I happen to also get paid for.